Genetics is one of those fields full of moral dilemmas that we get to talk about. Yes, Kyle. Uh, yes. If it's possible to clone an animal from a small DNA sample, isn't it also possible to clone an animal that's been, well, extinct? You mean like Jurassic Park? <laughs> well, sort of. Theoretically, yes. But due to the age of fossils, there's really no good viable DNA. Yeah, but theoretically, it could be done, right? Let me put it to you this way. They haven't been able to do it yet, and even if they could, just like they did in the movie. Do you think that's something we should be doing? Once again, genetics is one of those things that has a lot of tricky moral questions. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to the end of the chapter. Let's answer questions 1 through 10. And this time, we're going to do it in beautiful, long, complete sentences. Okay, Kyle, so what's up? Oh, no. Don't play dumb. We know you too well. Remember when you decided to give your hamster that growth hormone you found online? No, wait. That would have worked and you know it. Yeah, right. Except it caused your precious fluffy to swell up and finally explode. Guys, do we have to relive that? Hey, I think it was pretty funny. Now, I'm going to find something that finally works. And when I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't blow up anything this time, all right? Well, I got to get to class. See y'all. Me too, I'm out. Something tells me I should worry. Well, come on. We got to get to class. Hey, Ryan. Listen, I want you to get everyone together and meet me at the river. I've got an idea. So, why are we here again? I told you. I wanted to spend a wonderful and beautiful day of outdoors with my best of friends. Yeah, right. Don't make me sick. Look, this place used to be an archaeological dig site. Oh, wait. So let me guess. We're going on a dinosaur hunt, right? And you think some rare fossils are going to be found here? Well, we have the technology in front of us. Aren't you even curious? No. Look, if we don't find anything, chuck it up to a nice day with your friends. But if we do find something, the possibilities are endless. We could be famous. Rich? What? Look, I don't care about the fame. I want money. Is there money involved? Probably. You with me? OK, look, I want to say for the record that I'm morally and ethically against such an action. But if there's money involved, and there better be, I'm in. Fame and fortune, how can I refuse? I don't know how I end up getting dragged into these things. This place looks like a gardening shed. It is a gardening shed. Where's this big discovery? Thought you said this was a dig site. This is a dig site. There's something here. I know it.
thinks this is some kind of rare fossil. I figured if anyone could help us, it would be you. Well, I, I think I can. Hey, Alexis, take a look at this. <sighs> it's a spider case and tree sap. This looks like that spider that went extinct not that long ago. Where did you guys get this? I'm doing research for a science experiment, and anything you guys can tell us would really be helpful. Alexis, take a look at this again. You know, Stephen, we can't be constantly interrupted like this. We have some deadlines of our own to meet. What are you guys working on anyways? We're the resident experts in quantum physics. Stephen and I have a grant from MIT. We're trying to develop a working prototype of a nanobot. Nanobots? Really? Can I take a look at it? Right. Ryan, we can't take up these people's valuable time. Now tell me, what do you know about this? This species is the Hadrian pollivator. It was a nasty creature too. The spider was an aggressive species. This is one thing that made it so rare. It was not only aggressive in terms of food and defense, but it also enjoyed being destructive to other living organisms. Wow, it looks like a bug with an extra leg that was in a bad maple syrup accident. Well put, genius. Well, is there anything else you guys need? Because if you don't mind, we have some more important issues to attend to. I guess not. Thanks for your help anyways. That was weird. Yeah, it was. Still, I know how your brain works, Kyle. So out with it. You want to clone the spider, don't you? So that's what this was all about. I knew you were up to something. Come on, guys, you've got to admit, wouldn't this be really cool? Paul, you said it would make us rich. And what better way to start out our life of fame than with the morally objectionable science experiment? Okay, so let's start dividing up jobs and see how we can make this work. Wow, guys, didn't believe you guys could actually pull it off. <laughs> Me neither. It wasn't all that difficult. Yeah, all we had to do was synthesize the DNA with the Delta 9 tetrahydra. Here, English, please. That's okay, Madison. I get it. I know NASA's going to be impressed with these results. Not to mention, you finally get that grant you've been trying for. You're right. I got to decide how to start spending that. I mean, we need some microscopes and some chemicals. And well, guys, we did it. So, where's the money you promised, big man? We're sure when NASA gets here, fame and fortune will be ours. Until then, I've got some homework to do. Yeah, me too. Dang it, I forgot my algebra homework. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up. You don't have algebra homework. Yeah, I d needed to get something. What are those? I'm guessing you're going to give those to the spider? Look, Madison, it's us against them. This is just some extra nutrients, vitamins. We don't know how it's going to adapt in this environment. You don't want it to die from getting sick, do you? Well, no. <sighs> OK, Thanks. fine. No comment, thank you. I did show you Soldier Spider to a U.S. Army Research Institute. Yo, 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 my brother, man. Where'd you find that DNA? Just between you and me, honey, where'd you get that DNA? Hi, National Geographic. Can I get a picture of your spider? Can I know what kind of spider it is? What kind of spider is it? What kind? No comment, thank you. What kind of spider? Yo, man, I'm from Nickelodeon. Are you ready to get slimed? Get out of here. Man, that was a reporter. It's crazy. Well, congratulations, guys. Kyle, let's just take a final look at your notes. Yep, they should be all here. Okay. And the only thing I have a concern with is this animal's been extinct for a long time. I just don't think it's our place to bring it back. Mr. White, it'll be fine. I promise. We are giving it to the U.S. Army Research Institute. In exchange for $5,000. Which will go to you for funding all our equipment. Well, it sounds like you guys have everything in order. And the sooner we can get this thing shipped off to a lab, the sooner we can get back to our lives. Well, I just got to go to the office to grab a few more things. I'll be back in an hour.
He's so right, you guys. I can't wait till the spider's gone, so we don't have to deal with it anymore. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry. Where do you want to go? McDonald's. Wh Whopper. <laughs> What's Burger King? No, Dairy Queen has burgers. Forget Whatever. Dairy Queen. I want Whopper. <laughs> Yes. That's right, I just wanted to confirm the order of the TH 1137 microscopes. Excellent. Okay, well, thank you very much. Be right back. Ah! What happened here? Where's Mr. White? Where's the spider? His last phone call was 30 minutes ago to the supply company. So he and the spider can't be too far away, can they? No. No, I don't think so. Look, Kyle, I've been with you on this from the beginning, but this spider has gotten more dangerous every day, and now we have a missing person! I need to admit something. Remember when Kyle said that he needed to go get his algebra homework? Yeah. That's not the only thing he needed to get. He's been giving the spider hormone treatments. <sighs> Kyle! Okay, okay, I admit it. I gave the spider just a little bit of growth hormones. I thought we'd get more money on it. Okay, look, we'll talk about this later once we find the spider and Mr. White. But how are we going to catch it? Everyone's ready to see it, and the Army medical team's gonna be here any second. Hey, but that's on now. Madison, how could you not tell us you knew about this? It doesn't matter now anyways. We just need to find the spider and hope it hasn't done anything to Mr. White. Well, I say that we start searching now while we're busy with the Army medical team. Good idea, let's go. over there. I just saw it. The army team is here. What did you tell them? I had no choice. I had to tell them the spider was loose. Kyle! Look, we need all the help we can get. All right, the spider is on top of the library. Roger that. Team's getting into position. Come on. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You have to stand back. This thing's dangerous. We know. We created it. Well, brace yourselves. We're going to have to take it out. It's already taken out two of our We're men. We're ready, sir. Roger. Fire at will! So Madison, give me the updates. Okay, so me and Emma finally hooked up Amanda and Jose. It's great. They're like the cutest couple. Hey guys, couple. what's up? Listen, I know the spider thing didn't really work well at all, but I've been doing some research, and this time, it's a rat. The scientists say that with its rat-like face and squirrel-like tail, it's a completely new and undiscovered species. Dude, remember what happened last time when you had a grand idea? You know how long it took for me to get ungrounded? Yeah, I know. Kyle, I don't think so. But wait, wait! It'll be different this time. I promise. Finally, some peace and quiet. Oh.